What's going on, moviegoers? So if you're new to the channel, my name is Christian, and welcome to SeaWorld Productions. You guys, it's official. Taika Waititi is coming back to direct Thor 4, and also write. Now, I expected this because after what he did with the rebirth of Thor and Thor Ragnarok, which the character desperately, desperately needed. Because up until then, Thor was a character I didn't necessarily care about. He was kind of boring. And with Thor Ragnarok, he really put a spin on it. He put his own touch and it definitely gave that character the umph that it needed in order for me to really, really care about Thor. I mean, when he lost the hair and everything and he had, you know, the, his inner god powers come out and not needing the hammer. I mean, it was just so awesome to see. That film was so great. Introducing all these fabulous characters, returning characters, Loki, uh, Meek, Korg. How could you not like Korg? Taiko Atiti does the voice for Korg and the motion capture. It's just a fantastic character he brought into the world of Thor, Valkyrie. So I'm excited to see where they take this story for Thor 4. Now, I know Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is going to be coming out before um, Thor 4. And the way Endgame ended, Thor went off with the Guardians, the Asgardians of the Galaxies. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get that whole story and Thor will make an appearance in uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 and then come Thor 4 when Taika has you know, completely finished the script and things of that nature, he'll finish it off and you know show his own solo movie and wherever, whatever, wherever direction they, they decide to take it. And obviously with Valkyrie being the new, um, the new king of Asgard, it's, it's gonna be pretty interesting to see what they do with this character because this character is, he's gonna be a much different character and I, the, the, the one thing I really, really loved with Avengers Endgame with this character, which is showing the whole brutal honesty of what depression can do to a person. Obviously, with his failure, not being able to kill Thanos in time, you know, him gaining weight, being an alcoholic, like, it's, it, those are real life things. Like, that shit happens. Like, it's no joke. And I love how that, you know, the Russo brothers touched on that. And I loved his character in Endgame. And I was like, man, I'm, I'm all with Fat Thor. Fat Thor is hilarious. Fat Thor kicks ass, especially at the end when, oh my God, when he was like, well, let's kill him properly this time. And then boom, boom, that shit was so sick in Endgame. That was such a moment, such a moment. But I can't wait. I'm so excited for Thor 4. I'm happy that Taika's returning to write and direct. Um, I'm we'll probably most likely not see this movie until 2022, 2023-ish. Because I know Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 starts filming next year. Um, with probably with the 2021 release date. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see where they take this story. But I'm happy. Will Loki return? Possibly. Who knows? Nobody really knows if Loki's dead. Nobody knows. It's just, it's all, it's all assumption. But do we really know if Loki's dead? And would I love to see Tom Hiddleston come back as Loki in Thor 4? Absolutely. Absolutely. How could you not like, Ty uh, no, sorry. How could you not like Loki? He's, he's one of the greatest characters in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Fantastic character. But I'm pumped, you guys. I'm happy that Taika's returning. But apparently, this is what Hollywood Reporter was, was reporting. Because he was attached to direct and write a certain anime film as well. Taika Waititi is returning to the many worlds of Thor. Waititi has inked a deal to write and direct a follow-up to his 2017 smash, Thor Ragnarok. <clears throat> what else? What else? What else? Okay. Pause indefinitely as the two projects... Oh, hold up. I didn't mean... Oh, my, my fault, y'all. I, I totally missed this article. Fuck. Well, apparently, um, the film that he was supposed to attach to, you know, to be directing and writing was a carry. That's, you know, an animated film that was supposed to hit theaters, I believe, 2021. But that's been put on hold indefinitely because of his involvement with Thor 4, which I don't mind. I, I, I'm not an anime, anime guy like that anyway. So if he's coming back and he has his main focus on Thor 4, I'm all with that and I'm all excited. Maybe they can introduce, you know, some more cosmic characters. I mean, Nova Corps. Like, goddamn Nova. Like, something. Like, Fantastic Four could possibly have a huge role by the time Thor 4 hits. Like, we just don't know. I mean, you know, Comic-Con's coming out this week. Uh, I can't wait to see what Marvel Studios and Kevin Feige have all planned to announce over the next six years for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's going to be a lot of fun stuff for you guys, and I cannot wait. But post your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about Taika Waititi, uh, Taika Waititi coming back to write and direct Thor 4, and where would you like to see the story go? What new characters would you like to see introduced in this movie? Maybe Hercules? It's about time, we got the Eternals coming in. 
Post your comments down below, you guys, and thank you for taking time today for watching Zero Productions. Peace.